our divers down to the Devonshire. Phase one is complete. Good morning, my golden retrievers. What kind of havoc shall the Carver Media Group create in the world today? News. Floods in Pakistan, riots in Paris, and a plane crash in California. Excellent. Mr. Jones. Are we ready to release our new software? Yes, sir. As requested, it's full of bugs, which means people will be forced to upgrade for years. Outstanding. Mr. Wallace, call the president. Tell him if he doesn't sign the bill lowering the cable rates, we'll release the video of him with a cheerleader in the Chicago motel room. Inspired, sir. And after he signs the bill, release the tape anyway. Consider him slimed. Excuse me. He's on transponder seven. Mr. Stamper. Phase two is underway. I have the videotape. I haven't seen it myself, but I'm told the footage is excellent. Plus, there were 17 survivors for your headlines. Good work, Stamper. Thank you. Don't mention it. Make sure you keep it in a safe place. Gentlemen and ladies, Hold the presses. This, just in. By a curious quirk of fate, we have the perfect story with which to launch our satellite news network tonight. It seems a small crisis is brewing in the South China Seas. I want full newspaper coverage. I want magazine stories. I want books. I want films. I want TV. I want radio. I want us on the air 24 hours a day. This is our moment. And a billion people around this planet will watch it, hear it, and read about it from the Carver Media Group. There's no news like bad news. I'm not here in Danish. Just ignore it. No, those are words they just don't have in their vocabulary. Bond here. Go to a secure line, uh, seven. Going to scrambler channel four. That's ridiculous. James? That ship was in international waters. We can't be certain. James? Invincible's underway. Where are you? Oh, money penny. Um, I'm just up here at Oxford. Brushing up on a little Danish. A little? I'm afraid you're going to have to kiss off your lesson, James. We've got a situation here at the Ministry of Defense. We're sending the fleet to China. Uh-huh. I'll be there in, a, in an hour. Make that 30 minutes. So that means school. You always were a cunning linguist, James. Don't tell. That's preposterous. We know exactly where that ship was positioned. The GPS system, global positioning satellites, do not lie. Yes, but our Singapore station picked up a mysterious signal on the GPS frequency at the time of the attack. It could have sent that ship off course. I have a missing British frick. I'm aware of that. And instead of decisive action, all you want to do is investigate. My goal is to prevent World War III, Admiral. 
And I don't think sending an armada into the recovery area is the best way to do it. Where exactly did this mysterious GPS signal come from? We We're still investigating. Investigating? With all due respect, Em, sometimes I don't think you have the balls for this job. Perhaps. But the advantage is I don't have to think with them all the time. That's enough. Now, where do we stand? It was an unprovoked attack on a ship in international waters. We send in the fleet for recovery and prepare for full retaliation. Moderation. We investigate and stop short of sending the entire British Navy within 10 minutes of the world's largest air force. When will our ships be in position? 48 hours. Christ. The press were already screaming for blood. The last thing we want to do is escalate the situation. I'm afraid it may be too late to worry about that. 17 British sailors murdered. According to Vietnamese officials who recovered the bodies, the victims were riddled with the same ammunition used by the Chinese Air Force. Did you leave this? No. It's the first I've heard of it. Well, this settles it. We sent in the fleet. M, you have 48 hours to investigate. There is one strange thing. When I called our contact in Saigon, he said the Vietnamese only found our sailors three hours ago. How'd they get the paper out so fast? Somebody at Tomorrow knew before the Vietnamese government did. How much do you know about Elliot Carver, 007? Worldwide media ban. Able to topple governments with a single broadcast. Carver owns that newspaper Tomorrow. I didn't want to discuss it in front of the minister, but that mysterious signal came from one of Carver's satellites. PM would have my head if he knew you were investigating him. I'm sending you to Hamburg, 007. We've arranged for you to be invited tonight to a party at Carver's Media Center. They're celebrating the launch of a new satellite because now he has the ability to reach every human being on the Earth. Except the Chinese, who've refused broadcast rights. James, your ticket, cover story, and rental car reservation. Sign here, please. I believe you once had a relationship with Carver's wife, Paris. That was a long time ago, Em. Before she was married. I didn't realize it was public knowledge. Queen and country, James. Your job is to find out whether Carver or someone in his organization sent that ship off course and why. Use your relationship with Mrs. Carver if necessary. I doubt if she'll remember me. Remind her. Then pump her for information. You'll just have to decide how much pumping is needed, James. If only that were true of you and I, Money Penny. Sicherheitshinweis. Passagiere werden gebeten, ihr Gepäck nicht unbeaufsichtigt zu lassen. Security announcement. Passengers are asked not to leave their baggage unattended. Guten Tag, kann ich Ihnen helfen? Ja, mein Büro hat ein Auto reserviert. Einen Moment bitte. Danke. If you just sign here, Mr. Bond. <clears throat> It's the insurance damage waiver for your beautiful new car. Will you need collision coverage? Yes. Fire? Probably. Property destruction? Definitely. Personal injury? I hope not, but accidents do happen. They frequently do with you. Well, that takes care of the normal wear and tear. Do I need any other protection? Only from B007, unless you bring that car back in pristine order. Shall we? Shall we?